You don't have an obsession with people being mixed, but not actually having a deep complexion. Like, it's very weird. Brad said, BLM, BLM, BLM. Can we please stop this blonde hair, blue eyes obsession? It's actually very problematic. Sharon tried to equate facial features to race. Sis, give it a fucking rest. You, my girl, will never be oppressed. What I want, pa, what I want. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. I'm back with another Love Island update. You don't know, I've got to add my local two cents. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gade Philip or Gade for short. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the ting. Can we talk about the recoupling and Rachel and Brad? How Brad literally gameplayed his way to stay in the villa. How my guy's like, oh yeah, dark is my type and da 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 da. And everybody on social media is like, rah, Brad isn't lying because in his in his about me, he said dark hair and dark features. And I'm just like, look at you lot. You you lot really believe this guy is attracted to anything <laughs> with a bit of melanin. <laughs> Ciao. Anyways, like I was actually here for Rachel and Brad. I was hoping, yes, interracial couple is about to thrive, but they're just not, even, even if it was a personality thing, they're not compatible with one another. Brad seems very narcissistic. He's also a waffler and it's just, it's just, it's too much. My guy started speaking proper clear when he knew he wanted to stay in the villa. And that's how you know that a lot of these relationships are not genuine. When I look at Love Island in recent years, Molly Mae is the only one. Molly Mae is the only one that literally actually wanted to find her little sweet one you know because all these other lot yeah they're playing a game i don't care what anybody says they are all playing a game i can tell you for a fact that me being around somebody for three weeks straight or even if i was to go on holiday with someone it's either i fall in love with them or I can't stand them. I'm starting to like Chloe, you know. I really like Chloe. When when bombshells come in the house, yeah, they're, they're meant to rattle the house and they're meant to be a bit problematic, but, but Chloe is a really nice gal and everyone needs to be afraid of Chloe but because I feel like everyone secretly has a crush on Chloe, but because Chloe's not interested in them, they're not really giving her the time of day. That's how, how that's what I see. I'm not gonna lie yet, the cast members are not really giving me what they're supposed to give. Like, jump in the deep end, dive in. The only person that I feel like right now is really trying to jump the gun and really looking slightly desperate is Kaz. Toby don't fuck with you. Like, Toby does not give a flying about you. Toby is a 22-year-old SpongeBob head swearing ass that has never been in a relationship and you think my man is looking for love. You think you can secure Toby? Give it a rest. Like, give it a rest. Like, it's not gonna happen. Your Prince Charming will come, but I'm afraid it's not gonna be Toby. Toby needs to learn the hard way that you don't drag people along because he's not even pulling people along he's dragging Kaz into his bullshit and it's like my issue is Toby isn't even remotely giving any kind of signs that he fucks with Kaz but somehow Kaz is smitten by him Aaron irritates me but I need to see more from him like Obviously, right now, he's with Sharon. He's actually doing a lot. Like, he's been snogging off her face and doing whatever. But, I don't know. It's just that he just looks like one horny guy. Lib and Jake. Now, I don't know what it is with men, but a woman can give them a whole menu of everything that they want and they are still going to go to the next restaurant. Like, literally. That is how mad men are. Like, and Jake is the perfect example of somebody that my girl is giving you her all, you know? And then he's kind of initiating the conversation where it's like, oh, if somebody comes in and I'm attracted to her, I want to get to know her. <laughs> like, he's initiating that he's not serious, but and he wants to give her the heads up. Do you get what I mean? He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to look like the bad guy, and that's what I think it is. I don't even think it's about him caring for Liberty. I fully think it is 
him personally wanting to just save his own back to not look like the bad guy to the public that is it to me did any of you watch the challenge where they were all putting out like what their type is what their pet peeves are and everybody picked chloe as their type oh i'm not saying that chloe is butters you know i'm not saying that chloe is butters but can we please stop this blonde hair, blue eyes obsession? It's actually very problematic. Like, it makes the world think that nothing else is remotely desirable. I would love to see Chloe rattle the house and toy with a few of these men. Like, pull their leg, get them all feeling, like, get them all feeling you and then fuck them off. Like, I, I need to see something. I need to see some drama. I didn't like that they were ganging up on Hugo. Like, just because Hugo used the term fake twice when describing his ics or his pet peeves, why are you so insecure about that? If a man says he's not attracted to filler, he'd rather a girl that's all natural, like, what's the issue? The girls whip their head around every time he said it. And I'm not even sure why he said it. I don't know if the producers told him to say it or what, but it just was very, it was very interesting to watch. Sharon tried to equate facial features to race. Sis, give it a f***ing rest. You, my girl, will never be oppressed. You will never be oppressed. If somebody does not like filler, what's the issue? I don't even think he was referring to that. I think he was referring to personality traits. The minute Sharon got mad, Aaron comes with this, oh, I don't like fiery girls, I don't like confrontational girls. Aaron is making those comments because he clearly doesn't like black girls. Any bit of character is too much for him. Like, honestly, like, the it's the identity crisis in some of these people for me. Like, you see when dating, you actually have to know who you are. Like, know who the fuck you are because you'll never find your type, you'll never find your true love like and you're just here for fame and that's how, how i'm looking at it you lot are just here for fame if you can get your rocks knocked off while you're at it then that's what you're gonna do but i can't I, sometimes i just i don't know for these men i actually like fame but it's like not everything is about you when rachel pulled her to the side to talk about brad why did you bring it back to yourself why did you start talking about liam are you all right Everyone has the narcissistic traits, you know, and it's crazy when you watch these reality shows You see how narcissistic people are and the narcissistic characteristics that people carry And you actually do not have to be famous or popular to be a narcissist and it's very scary like Hey, be can't pipe down because you might never find somebody that even wants to tolerate you Chloe and Hugo are the only cast members right now that are actually likeable I feel like Hugo is he is actually being himself and Chloe is we've not really seen much from Chloe other than her being the bombshell but she's not really had somebody that she could really crack on with I actually thought she would have got along with Chugs but that didn't last long Rachel crying 24 7 is starting to piss me off because you came in the house as a bad gal but you're crying every five minutes because Brad is not interested in you and then the new girls have come in and then dumbass Toby wants to talk about, oh, are you mixed? So a girl with a tan and green eyes automatically means you're mixed. You don't have an obsession with people being mixed and having a tint of black in them, but not actually having a deep complexion. Like, it's very weird. It's weird. Again, I feel like the girls come in and you think that they're going to cause a stir in the house and they just end up being nice to everyone and end up getting along. The girls are really girly girls. The girls in the villa right now are very girly girls. Like, they, I don't think they really are there for themselves at this point. They're really girly, like they're really clicky. Whereas in previous seasons, girls have come in and coupled up with guys that they know another girl likes. They don't care, you know? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe to the ting. And I'll see you in my next one. Wata grandpa, wata grandpa.